Hey Texas Anglers, I've got a hopper pattern here I've been working on. It's pretty fun and easy and super effective on bass and bluegill and such in our area, so wanted to pass it on to you. Also, you can tie it in many different colors, as you see here. Um, and also, you can use the exact same method to tie a little bit smaller guys, like that one and this one here. If you're going for bluegill or something, you tie some smaller ones and have them ready in your box. You're going to start out with the with your hook on here. I got a number four. Just a straight hook. So lock it in good. And then you're going to take some craft foam. These little sheets here. Got this at Michael's. It's the same stuff as you can get at a fly shop but at the fly shop they charge you like $3.99 for a six inch square and at Michael's I got a bunch of these massive eight and a half by eleven sheets for 99 cents so I recommend going there and getting those so you're gonna pick two colors for this demonstration I'm gonna do yellow and brown like this and what I did is just glue together this little strip you can see how long it is it's about a little more than double the hook there and uh, cut it out into a rectangle shape like this now you're gonna go ahead and wrap your hook all the way down and get that excess out of there. I've got a nice tan colored thread that will just kind of blend in with the tan I'm using on the grasshopper itself. So now you're going to take just a small piece of that foam and lay it on there and just wrap it on the hook real tight. This is not for looks, this is just going to help your hopper body stay oriented the right way because that'll give it something to bite onto there with the glue. So now you're going to take your hook off and hook it through this foam pad here. And the bit you're going to leave sticking off the back, I want the yellow to be on the bottom of my hopper so I'll keep it like this here. You're going to stick it right in the center about that far back because this section here will be the butt section that sticks off the back of the hopper. And you're going to lock that back in. Pull it up and forward just slightly. And then press the eye of the hook into the foam there. And you'll see it sticking out the front. And just go ahead and give it a little clip so it can come right through that foam like so. Alright, now you're going to take your thread and do a couple wraps and just tighten as you wrap. Just down from the hook eye. See how far down I am? That'll be how big your head is. Whatever you determine the distance there will be your head size. So now is when I take some super glue and I just do a little bit down in here on that foam that we left in the center on the hook. As we wrap it will help it to cinch up to that and uh, stay very secure. So you're going to press this together. Make sure you don't glue your fingers to it. And then come over and then do a wrap. See how I did that? And that's a body section on the hopper there. See, we're building these sections. Now just keep doing that over. Hold it if you need to and then do a wrap. Do it two or three times. Pull tighter as you go. Over. Do a wrap. Okay, now once you get to the, where the hook comes out of the foam, you're going to go over and then work it on the outside there like so. Same deal. I'm going to get one more in there. Now you're just going to work your way back. When you cross over, try and keep it on the top section so the underside stays nice and clean. There we go. We're going to come back to the second body wrap there. See where my thread is. Okay, so now you're going to take your legs. I've just got these legs from Bass Pro Shops. You're going to pull out two of them. Like so. Now let me show you how to do this. Just take one. You're going to line up the ends. And then you're, you're going to line up the ends. Like this. And then you're just going to tie a knot in those. That knot is going to be the knee of the back leg. See that? 
Now you're gonna take that and you put the knot about three quarters of the way down where my thumbnail is and then just walk your way up to right there on that body section and then boom see how that leg is sticking out there now you're gonna cross over to the front push that forward and do a couple wraps to get that rest of it the forward leg position now you're gonna come out and just clip both of these see how those popped up and you're gonna clip down here past the knee and then choose one of these legs and clip it so there's just one coming off that knee same thing on the other side so I'm just lining it up here I'll just do them kind of loose you can get them adjusted to match your first side like so and just eyeball it and cut them at the same distance as you did the first side okay so we've got the legs in place now I like to cut a little wing for the top of the body out of the same foam but I'm using a little bit darker brown here just to set it apart See, it's just a shade darker than the interior of that body. So I'm going to cut it into the shape of a wing here. So this wing's just going to lay there on the body, so I've got it kind of in that shape. And I'm going to make it just meet up with the end. So just clip it a little bit. And then with the front, the very front most section there, I'm going to use that to wrap this wing onto there. So. Now you've got that wing resting. We're just going to do a dot of super glue on the back of this grasshopper body and we're just going to lay that down on there. Just like that. Now we're going to take some elk hair. I've got a lighter bleached elk hair here. And we're just going to get a little section. And I'm just going to clip it and get that end nice and straight. And I'm going to tie in there. See that? And then I'm going to set it right there. Do a loose wrap. And then pull it tight. Make sure you're not getting any of the legs caught up as you're doing that. Now you're going to push the head back. And see where it just goes a little past your wrapping section there so about right there you're just gonna give that a snip and fold it back hold that elk hair in place and kinda press down the edges of the head and then do a big old loose wrap and then just cinch it down get a few on there really lock that in place Now trim it up as you see necessary. I kind of like how these hairs are laying already. And then just finish it up. And there you have it. Nice little hopper ready for some bass fishing in the spring. I hope that helped y'all out. If you uh, use this pattern with success, go ahead and tag us on Instagram at Texas Angler. We'd love to see your pictures.